David Hayes Bautista, uh, professor of medicine, director of the Center for the Study of Latino Health and Culture at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. I have uh, written two books uh, that are a little bit unusual for what I've been doing in the past, one having to do with the history of the Cinco de Mayo in California, and the other one being a sort of a photography book of Latinos in the Gold Rush and Civil War here in California. Now, both of these books are different from what I have done. Uh, they have a number of images, and I, the crew at the library were really helpful to me and to my staff in helping us just chart our way through these waters that we're really that unfamiliar with. For example, the one book uh, on Cinco de Mayo is being published by a university press. Uh, I got the contract from the university press and there were some areas I wasn't really clear on. I wanted a number of images to be utilized in this book, but I wanted to use these images in presentations and in perhaps future articles, and it wasn't clear exactly what I would be getting myself into in terms of rights to these, to use these images and other works. So I, remembering having gone to a couple of the presentations at the library, called the people at the library and asked for some help, and I got it. They uh, were kind enough to review the contract, they were kind enough to point out some language that might be presenting a problem for me. I got back in contact with the publisher and they were very good about changing it. Uh, so it was nice to have that backup, otherwise I may have had to hire a private attorney, I'm not quite sure, but it was nice to have this backup here on campus. The other book uh, that is a book of images and photography of Latinos in the Gold Rush and Civil War, I was working with a commercial publisher at that time, and this, this is my first attempt to work with a commercial publisher and the relationship was not going well. I had signed a contract with this commercial publisher. I contacted again my friends at the library. I explained my problem, um, that I had signed a contract, but the publisher had changed, with, and not in writing, but had changed the terms of the contract, making it difficult for me to fulfill my end, and would it be possible to think of ending the contract and finding a different publisher? And the folks at the library looked things over, actually contacted the uh, commercial publisher. We had some rounds of discussions, and we all came to the conclusion that maybe we would all be happier not going further with this contract. So it was ended, and I was able to find a different publisher and to have a much happier working relationship. Both of these could have been rather messy situations had I not had the uh, resources at the library to help guide me through the legal, legals and technicalities of the issues, uh, particularly for types of publications that are somewhat unusual for me, very heavy with images, and they're coming to a very happy resolution. And I'll have to say I, I couldn't be happier. I would highly recommend if you have any questions about uh, use of copyrighted materials, about copyright issues, about contract issues, uh, please contact them. They always say they're ready to help, and my experience has been they're very, very not only ready to help, they're very willing to help, and they've been a tremendous help in my work.